today's cars contain a multitude of components which are all interconnected with the automotive LIN bus. An example is the HVAC unit which distributes warm or cool air through the various ducts into the passenger compartment. Up to 10 damper actuators have to be connected to the HVAC control unit to direct this airflow. The most efficient way of doing this is via the single wire automotive LIN bus with auto addressing. The auto addressing feature allows dynamic addressing of the individual actuators after they have been installed. Identical actuators receive their individual address depending on their position on the LIN bus. This demonstration shows 10 identical Micronas HVC4223F LIN motor drivers connected to the bus master in the background. The user interface installed on the laptop communicates with the LIN bus master via USB cable. LIN auto addressing is implemented in the following way. After power up of the LIN cluster, all devices have the factory default address. In this mode, it is possible to control the nodes individually as they all respond to LIN commands simultaneously. For auto addressing, all nodes are instructed to enter a special bus shunt mode, which makes it possible to identify the last node in the chain and assign it an address. This node is then deactivated so that the next node thinks it would be the last one in the chain and can be assigned an individual address, and so on until all nodes have their individual addresses. Now each node can receive individual instructions, such as display a different number on the LED, or move the air flap to a certain position. A further advantage of this method is that any node in the field can be replaced without having to worry about its address or position on the bus. After replacing it, the auto addressing sequence is reinitiated and all nodes receive their correct addresses again. Using auto addressing gives our motor controllers maximum flexibility for the scaling of HVAC systems to different car models and replacing components in the field. For more information about embedded motor controllers from TDK, please click on the link in the video description.